everyone, and welcome back to the 2022 Twin Cities Film Fest. I am on the red carpet speaking to some of the creative uh, force behind the movie that we are screening a little bit later tonight, Roving Woman. I have been stalking both of you online, finding out more about this project. Please let me introduce you to uh, one of the stars of the movie, Lena Gora. Did I nail it? Yeah. All right. And uh, uh, Michael... Malesh, oh shoot, Maleshki, almost, well, crap. Anyways, the end of the day, this is my last interview for the, <laughs> for the red carpet. I'm thinking you'll just change it, you know, to something more American, I maybe. I like it. <laughs> so, see, in Minnesota, we have a lot of, we have a lot of people from Poland, we have a lot of, a lot of yes, no, don't change, never change, never change. So Roving Woman, I was doing a bit of research, and I think it's interesting, and I don't want to give away too much, um, but part of this movie was inspired by a songwriter, right? Yeah, her name was Connie Converse, uh, and she was a real special one. She was a singer-songwriter, yeah, who disappeared mysteriously, and I guess that's maybe the most important thing in our film, which was her disappearance, um, because our film is a story of disappearance, and her, her spirit, her ghost sort of, right, led us as we, yeah, as we, we went along. We have a lot of her music in the movie, and also our composer recreated her old songs to have her spirit in the in the scenes and in the in the movie. So uh, she was like a really important person. Her story, her music, and uh, I think her thoughts. And the the mm, main thing is that she was misfit, uh, very similar to our characters in the movie. I googled the music of her right after that, and I am officially a Connie can can Converse Converse Connie Converse. Yes, I'm absolutely a fan. Um, Roving Woman. So it's not her story per se, but it is inspired by that. I want to get that correct. Um, what drew you to this project? Is this something you've been working on for a while, or uh, how did you become involved? We met um, right before we shot it. It was sort of a story that we decided to develop together. Um, when I met Michal, it was soon after I went to Poland for the first time and started making some films there and told him a little bit about me and he told me a bit about him and we realized that we're both misfits in, in some way and we're both just trying to find a place to fit in and we're both struggling with solitude and belonging within society and something like that started to brew within us and then I took him on the road and we went to Joshua Tree, California which off we went and we shot it before we knew it. Uh, yes, we, we knew that uh, we want to do to make a road movie together and it was uh, obvious that uh, the Joshua Tree in California is like the best place to shoot a road movie because of the sun, because of the space, because of the pe desert people uh, who are also involved, like real desert people are involved in this movie. So uh, we started writing together uh, with this idea that it would, it would be shot there. Like uh, our mm, first idea was that the main character leaves LA and she goes to the desert. So it started like like this. And John Hawks joined soon after, and this was such a collective experience as we were creating it. You know, I feel like everyone we had involved, uh, starting with the two of us, but then with John Hawks first, and Chris Hanley, who plays in our movie, who you know produced films like Buffalo '66 or American Psycho, which were movies that we 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 would just we wouldn't be who we were without them. Um, everybody was joining, and we're collectively writing it in some. Not really. We wrote a script together with Michal, but it felt like a collective experience. We were so lucky to have our idols work with us on this, so we just would be idiots not to have them <laughs> really involved and really like connect with us on this. So, um, yeah, I guess the story wrote itself as we drove along in a way, uh, with Vim Vendors joining last and, and, and also being someone that with any of his hot thoughts were was just so important to us. Oh, that's great. Well, and I'm sure the spirit of Connie is here with you right now. I know, because she. We don't know, right? There's a mystery. Someone needs to do a podcast about Connie. Yeah. They will find. They can track There's anybody down. There is. Right. They can. They can find anybody. Okay. I don't want to keep you guys too long because I could talk for forever. But I don't want you to miss your <laughs> your movie premiere. That'd be. Oh, you saw. Oh, well, you, you, you maybe you've seen it. Um, but uh, thank you so much for stopping by and having uh, a moment to chat with me on the red carpet at the 2022 Twin Cities Film Fest. Stay tuned. We've got some more great stuff coming up.
And then when it's blue, she'll be out. Yeah.